Hello everyone, welcome back. We're at the Gallops today. We are doing racehorse slash jockey training. Like my original plan for this video was to do like a day in the life of a jockey and like talk you through what I'm eating, what I'm exercising like, what I'm doing with McAllister. But actually I'm just not that serious and I'm not really eating like a jockey because I need to gain weight if anything. So, you know, don't, I'm not really your typical jockey and also, I'm not a jockey. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to stop talking because this is so boring. Let's just get him off. We'll get on board and we'll go from there. When I tell you we've not made too much of an effort today, we're not lying. Look at the state of everything. <laughs> Far from you. You look gorgeous. I mean, I did half a job, but you know, life's hard in the winter and we've had so much rain. Um, it was literally just, the ground started drying out and now it is absolutely not drying out. It's so much like surface water sat on my field. It's just disgusting and I've thrown my toys out the pram with it. I just like, I don't care anymore. Um, let's get this head collar, hello everyone. Let's get the head collar off. Look at my baby boy. Oof. I mean, in regards to how race ready we are, I don't think his fitness is far off. And I think like in two weeks time when he's done, he'll have had four more gallops by that point. He should be pretty ready. I think he could do with losing a little bit more weight, but I think it's more bloated than anything because the other day he almost looked a bit too ribby. So I mean, stand up, let the people, let us judge you. You know what I mean? And then my fitness, like it is what it is. I've got a broken spine, what do you want from me? I'm trying my best. As far as getting all our kit together, that's quite a process. Like there's so many different things that you need for racing and it is a charity race, so don't get me wrong. I would be absolutely fine to race in that saddle. But Yasmin, who I've got helping me, who's like my jockey coach, she's basically in charge of everything. Um, she was like, absolutely not. If you're doing this, you're doing it properly, you're going to look professional. So she's given me her old pony racing saddle, but it needs like new girth straps and all of that jazz. So it's at the menders now. I ordered some shorter stirrup leathers last night because these are my normal stirrup leathers and they're not even like short, short yet. And I've already had to roll them and put them on the bottom hole. Girth wise, we're just gonna have to see what fits. Obviously I've got some of Billy's girth, girths. So I do think we will have one. I've got my colours, yellow and royal blue, thank you. Got some breeches, found them on Facebook Marketplace. I've got a body protector. The only thing I do need, I think the only thing I do need, is some racing boots. And then I think we're good. Let's get on the pony. What I've been doing, well you'll see when I'm on, but I will, um, I'll try and talk you through what I've been doing when I come to the gallops and train my little race horse. Isn't he gorgeous? So as you can see the saddle is not made for me to be riding this short and I'm not even riding that short yet. No I am not. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, he's literally just come off the horse box so we'll do one lap just walking maybe a bit of trot if I feel like it and then the next lap will be like trotting maybe a steady canter and then he'll have done two full laps and then we'll come back down and the third lap will be like a decent canter certainly not a gallop but decent enough and there's quite there's quite a nice incline which is good for the heart rate i mean i was planning to get up early this morning and get a ride in and film it but I'm quite glad I didn't because it was so grey and just raining and now we've actually got beautiful weather not too warm so that's good for doing a bit of fast work but I tell you the last couple of times I've brought him here and we've galloped he's not even not even sweated up like not at all so he is feeling pretty fit and you've got to remember we well, haven't got to do anything but what I'd like you to remember is he's hunted all season so he is super super fit stamina wise we just need to now train the speed back into him which i don't think i mean i've not galloped him with any other horses so i couldn't 
place him but just me riding him by myself I think bloody hell we've got a winner like he's so fast but then I suppose once we uh, put him against the rest of the field then we'll know what's what so I do need to do that I need to um, ask some friends next week with race horses if we can all go to the gallops and actually put him in a string and that'll be quite a good marker for what we need to work on and uh, how race ready he is Sorry if I'm sounding really nasally, I am actually finding it quite difficult to talk, like I've just got so much horrible snotty stuff like stuck, it's not even in my nose, it's like in my eyes I think, I don't know but I can't speak very well so sorry if that's annoying. He's getting a bit chompy on the bit now because it's along this straight that I normally ask him to canter or gallop, so he always gets a little bit hoity-toity down here, feeling well. Yeah, you are, good boy. Also, it's not really the done thing to like hog a racehorse, but he's a hunter before he's a racehorse, and there's just no way it was gonna grow back in time, so I've just kept on top of it. And actually, I think, why don't they hog racehorses? Surely that is more aerodynamic. Have a little trot up the hill. I might just get out of my saddle actually, rather than landing on his back. Do I like a jockey, everyone? I wish I had longer arms and then you can actually see. I'm riding very short. As much as I would like to, there's just no way I can concentrate on what I'm doing and canter slash gallop. I'm gonna put the camera away. All I'm gonna do is do like a decent canter for one lap, walk down the hill, not let him rest for too long. Like the important thing is to keep his heart rate up. It's like HIT training, high intensity interval training. Um, that's the concept anyway, execution wise, we'll see. But I'm just gonna walk down this hill now. Let me show you. I'm gonna walk down this hill now. When I start to like turn the corner there, I'll trot and then I'll start countering him over in that bottom corner. Do a full lap of canter, walk back down the hill, start trotting when I'm nearly down, and then canter canter along that straight. I don't know if this makes any sense. And then I'm gonna absolutely send him flying all the way up the hill and just keep that pace going. And hopefully he'll quicken when he gets to the top of the hill. That's the theory, that's what I'm planning. And we'll just kind of see where we are, see what we make of it. actually an idiot <laughs> and I just need to go and get on my spin bike before I waste any more time. Hang on, we're conserving energy apparently. Um, so it's now nearly half past eight at night and I was gonna get on the spin bike like half an hour ago and afterwards I was going to just show you like the equipment that I've got so far, like my colours and everything, but then I thought no, I'll just try them on and of course I don't want to go on the spin bike, that's what this really means and that's why we've delayed time so much, but I just, I was sat there in my colours with my dog taking photos, what was I doing? What am I doing that for? It's so stupid. Anyway, so I just thought, get the camera rolling, get on the spin bike. Why are we being so blurry? Anyway, what, plea, like the house was bad in my last vlog, it's horrific now, and not in a cute, like, oh, you can't see the house, it's such a mess, it's honestly, a bomb site. I was getting on top of it, I really was, and um, we had like some lovely dry sunny weather and then it got really muddy and wet again so I've kind of just given up. So please just, I'm gonna put that there. Um, the living room is actually pretty all right except the lighting in there is terrible um, because, fun fact, there's no real lighting in my living room. Like there's switches as if there should be lights but there's there's nothing I think maybe there was one there some time ago but yeah also not a big fan of the Artex but it is what it is the beams also not my fave but we don't complain let me put that lamp on as well and then hopefully you'll see so I got back from the gallops 
and I just left the horses in their stables because the weather's been so, so grotty today and I just don't want them stood in mud all the time. I think we've managed to get through the winter with no mud fever. Let's not start now. Let's not, especially with so many important things coming up. So, imagine I've got my breeches on. They haven't arrived yet. I bought them on Facebook Marketplace. But, these are the colours. Are they not funky? I had to go for, my friend Yasmin sent me some colours that she thought I should get. And they were baby pink and baby blue. And I was like, I really appreciate that. Honestly, I do. But I'm a warm autumn. I can't wear pastel colours. They just wash me out. Yellow is like quite a good colour on me. Not this specific shade, but beggars can't be choosers. And blue I normally steer clear from, but I think because this is like a royal blue, it's quite warm, so it doesn't like clash with my skin tone. But also, this was like £22, this was £6. We're not going to complain. Like beggars cannot be choosers. I think this is quite cool. I was... I mean, I was debating getting a matching brow band for McAllister, but I think perhaps that's overkill and we don't need to take it that seriously at this stage. So no, I think we'll just race in my normal bridal. I really am suffering with this like blot nose. Some words I just can't even pronounce. So just deal with that. Um, and then I've got a body protector as well, which will go, hang on, it will go under my colors. But, you know, I never wear one, I never do. But now I've got one, hopefully I will wear it. I mean, obviously I've got to wear it for the race, that's like the whole point of why I've got one. But it would just be sensible to wear one otherwise, wouldn't it? It would, that would be sensible. Am I going to do it? I don't know, I don't know, I can't take this off now. Hang on. Let me pop you there. Um, so basically, now it's half past eight and I'm really tired. We're going to do 20 minutes on the spin bike. I would do a bit more. Like I was doing half an hour quite comfortably. I think I could do more. But I get bored and like I start holding myself back if I know I've got to like last a long time. So there's no point. I might as well just do like 20, 30 minutes and actually really push myself. Because the race, I'm only going to be pushing for like two, three minutes at worst. Like how fit do I need to be really? Really? So, you know, we're just, we're improving the fitness, but I don't think we need to make like huge leaps. That being said, let's get on the spin bike. I think I'll probably take my helmet off. I'm gonna just turn this off. I will see you at three. I've got to go, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and uh, <laughs> actually try and do the fitness things. So, thank you for watching and I will see you sometime soon. I'm not going to make any promises, like, it's just going to happen when it's going to happen and that's the best that I've got. Love you, bye.